Okay, welcome back folks. So here we have another Holiday Inn Express. Another warm night in the hotel. Pretty typical for me. But I like to override these so that I get a cool night in the hotel. So as you can see, we've got the traditional. This is an old school, I consider these old now, uh, verdant motion sensor. Now some guys will say, go in here, undo the screw, go into the circuit board and push. There's a little reset thing you can do with a pin here. And sometimes you do have to do that. But there is also an easier way, depending on which PTAC unit you have over on the wall. So this is the lowest that it was going. Uh, well, I set it to 65 because that was the lowest it was going to go. But uh, for me, I'm a northern person, so <laughs> that's a little too warm for me at night. Uh, I like to get it a little bit lower, at least have the option to, um, to, do, to get it lower than uh, 65. So anyway, what I did, I already did this. But if you're lucky enough to have an old school, you can see I already worked on some, if you're looking for the old school Amana PTAX, and these, you know, of course you open the lid and this is what it says. Well, all you do is take the lid off, just pop the cover off. It's really easy. Just don't break anything. And just lift this up. Oh, it, and then it's got my hotel, my room number there. Uh, anyway, so you're in here. Now I've already, you know, overridden this one, so it's not going to be quite as obvious, but I'll show you what I did. And this is all over the internet. You just hold these two buttons down, the plus and the minus, hot and cold. And you push the off button twice. So I'm just going to try to do that now. It's hard to do with the camera here. Okay, so I pushed the up and down button. Just held these down and pushed off twice at the same time. So you got to use one hand here and one hand over there. Now you're in the menus, which is a great place to be when you're looking for things. So you just hit the heat button. Uh, heat and cool kind of change which sub menu you're on or you know chapter you're on so you go to C1 initially and this is about the only thing I had to do on this one now it's at zero which is actually where you want it because I like I said I already worked on this one but it was on I think it was C1 or R, I can't remember I think it was like on L5 or something like that the wall unit so you want to set it to zero so set it to zero hit off to save it and now you have control here on your panel, which is great. So you can turn constant fan on or off. Just push the button. And basically you can control the whole unit now from here, which makes it a, makes it a great unit because you can set the temperature wherever you want to. Now if they had other menus in there, sometimes they're more restrictive where the temperature is limited. And you can just Google the amount of menus and hit heat and cold. I think it's like C5 if I remember right. C5 on here is like the cool limit and C6 is like the hot limit, something like that. Uh, don't quote me exactly, but usually you can tell because like the cool limit will be set to something like 66 or 65 and the hot limit, the heat limit will be set to like 78. So just figure out which one it is, go to that option, then hit the plus or minus buttons to change it and then hit off to save the setting. And that's how you can override the temperature limits if you run into that problem on this particular unit. Like I said, it's just your generic old school Amana P tech which are very easy to override fortunately so I like running into these if they're in good shape and quiet in the room at night because of how easy they are to override so that's your tip so you don't even have to monkey around with a pin or a reset button or exposing a circuit board here don't even worry about it just go to the Amana unit and override it but sometimes these are connected to different units so different wall units so then you have more problems and you actually have to unscrew this and uh, go in there and there's actually a little reset button you have to use a pin for and there's there's um, videos out there there's a pilot out there that had a video of this that you can find it on YouTube and he put a, his delta pin in there and hit the reset button there's like a little pinhole you can do it with a paper clip too but you got to get this outer cover off first so those are my tips hope you guys find these helpful and can save a couple of you from some some two toasty nights thanks